We've got all kinds of animals here at the zoo, young and old, big and small. Over here, you'll see the tallest animals, which are the giraffes. And if you're lucky while you're here, you may even get to feed one of them. Yeah, I think he's hungry. Stand your arm out, and he'll stick his tongue out for you, OK? Their tongues are about 18 to 20 inches long. That's got a great grip for being able to rip leaves off of branches. <laughs> Good boy, Turbo. <laughs> Today is a really exciting day. We're actually getting a new giraffe to our herd. We currently have three giraffe at our zoo. We are really hoping that they do get along very well with a new giraffe. Turbo is our oldest. He's actually going to be turning 14 later on this year. He is definitely the most relaxed, chill guy of the group. You're so brave, Turbo. Jack is our breeding bull. As big as he is, he's actually kind of wimpy when it comes to new things, which is so silly because he's supposed to be the big bad boy of the group, but we still love him. Jack can't make up his mind. He keeps looking at us and looking at Leah. He's like, I don't know which way to go. Leah is our sassy, fiery, redhead girl. She does what she wants when she wants, and ain't nobody going to tell her anything different. I never expected to really love these animals as much as I do. But once you do, they put their full trust in you. And I think that's an incredible relationship to have with an animal. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. You're so great. All three of the giraffe that we currently have get along very, very well with one another. So bringing in this brand new baby giraffe is going to be quite a new experience. Our new giraffe is Amelia. She is going to be two, I believe, in April. Although if she's young right now, we are hoping that in the next few years that we can maybe start having some calves from her. We got the trailer coming down right now. Amelia may be a little stressed from the ride. Coming to a new zoo is a big change for a giraffe. It's kind of like anyone who's a young adult going to their first new apartment or going to college. It's a whole brand new experience for this animal. Good. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. We're good. My job today basically is to get Amelia in position from the trailer into the barn. Hopefully, I can accomplish that without any hitches. Come on, girlie. It could be very challenging. We don't know what her temperament is, what her behaviors are going to be to a new environment. Amelia. She could walk off really smooth. She could also want to stay in the trailer. Come on. Let's go see your new friends. Come on. Giraffes are kind of a combination of super curious about what's going on, as well as very cautious about new things. She's like the shy kid on the first day of school, just kind of looking around through the doors, not really sure where to go or what to do. You want any of this? Just thinking. Come on in. She's coming. She's coming. I can see her nose peeking around the corner, so she's getting closer. Good girl. Look at you. Couple more steps. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. Great, you guys. Good job. Good girl. I am super excited. She did phenomenally well. I couldn't ask for a better intro to the barn. She's adorable. She's tiny. She's super tiny. We think that she probably is around 10 feet tall, which is probably at least four feet shorter than our shortest giraffe. Like any other animal that comes to the zoo, we have to put them into quarantine to make sure that she's not carrying anything that we don't want to give to the other animals. And then after that short amount of time, we can start introducing her to the herd. I think the giraffes are going to love Amelia. 